So a little while ago before every single book publisher realised, oh my god, YouTubers can make us money. My good friend Carrie Hope Fletcher started a blog called allIKnowNow.com. The blog was essentially created to help store all of Carrie's thoughts and ramblings about teenage life and to help young teenagers who are going through certain problems like with family and friends and relationships and just self-esteem issues to help them get through those times because Carrie's been through those things and she was talking from her experiences. And shortly after starting her blog, she decided she wanted to turn it into a book. So after literally months and months of her writing thousands of words between her performances of Les Miserables in the theatre of something, um, I did know the theatre and now I don't. I'm a fake fan. So anyway, after months and months and months of writing, this happened! This is All I Know Now, Wonderings and Reflections on Growing Up Gracefully by Carrie Hope Fletcher and I'm super proud of her for writing this because it feels like every single YouTuber in the world is getting book deals and Carrie genuinely wrote this from the heart just with the aim of helping people through life and it was based on something that she never intended to be a book in the first place so it's not just a, oh, it's another YouTuber writing a book. Oh. So this is actually a bound proof, which means that you guys may not get the version that I have got in my hands. This is an uncorrected, kind of slightly edited, but not completely finished version of the book. Also, this is a paperback, and the finished version, I believe, is in hardback. Carrie was kind enough to send out proof copies to her friends and family, and I can only imagine how nerve-wracking that would be. Now, I did mention that Carrie is my close friend. Completely true. However, if something that my friends wrote was rubbish, I would say it was rubbish. This is the opposite of rubbish. Not only am I proud of Carrie for writing a book between performances of Les Miserables eight times a week, I'm proud of her for writing an amazing book. Still can't pronounce Les Miserables. Is that... I... Just copying Susan Boyle, to be honest. Now because this is actually an uncorrected bound proof, I can't actually read any parts out to you, and I can't show you the illustrations in here, but take my word for it, the writing and the drawings they're just amazing. Just just take my word for it, okay? I don't lie. They're genuinely amazing. So if you don't actually know who my friend Carrie is, you may be a bit confused as to what this book actually is. It's basically stories from Carrie's life and the lessons that she's learned along the way, so it's kind of autobiographical, but put into sections so that you can easily sort of skip to, oh, okay, here's the thing about friends, here's the thing about... Got my words. I'm rubbish. And one of my favourite things about this book, which I, I don't know, if it's going to be in the final version, but I can I can only imagine that it would be because it is such a strong theme throughout the book. Um, it's structured like a play, so you have a prologue and you have acts. There's a prop section, a curtain call section, which is a thank you. It's sort of like you have acts, like friends and then love and da da da, and then you have chapters within them. Um, so you can easily like just go to the front and be like, I want to learn about this, I want to reread this, and it's it's fantastically structured. Um, and I think that's a really, really important thing for a book like this. You don't want to just read it like an autobiography. Um, it's not going from like the ages of 12 to 18. It's, it's a case of, I want to find a thing about romance. There it is, it's on this page. I want to find a thing about friends leaving me out. It's on this page. It's really hard to describe a book without being able to show you anything or read you any parts of it. But basically, Carrie just gives advice from her perspective of things, like I said, growing up. And the advice that she gives is absolutely lovely, and it's written in a very chatty way. Um, you can see this as a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's literally like having a conversation with Carrie. It's like it's like reading one of her vlogs, um, which I personally love. It's it's literally like reading a note from your big sister. It's like getting a letter from your big sister, um, which I can only assume is what she wanted, and it's it's definitely coming across that way. But ultimately, you may not like that. You may not like the fact that it sounds very chummy and like she knows you and she's chatting to you like that. You might want things that go straight to, this is what you need to do, blah, 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 blah. this is succinct information. Um, but if, if you know Carrie, which is, I assume, you know, most people picking up this book will know Carrie, um, I, I would assume that that is what you would be used to hearing and that is the sort of advice that if you read her blog you'll know exactly how this goes. So go to allIKnowNow.com and then you can get a sort of idea of how the book is written. Not only does this have really sort of chummy advice where you think, oh, I feel better for reading that, but when Carrie gets really passionate in this book about certain things, especially like cyberbullying, when she gets passionate you can read how sort of passionate and enraged she starts getting, and it's wonderful because then you think, yeah girl, damn! 
am. Well, I mean, that's what I did, but that's the point because I know her. There's also a lot of Harry Potter references in here, which which makes me happy. There's also a section in the back called Props, which gives you um, helplines and websites you can go on in many different countries to help you get through things like sexuality and friend problems and drug problems and things like that. It's just, it's it's got the information and the sources to back things up. It's just, it's wonderful. Now, I received this just before I went back on to tour after my throat infection. And honestly, if I could have read this in one day, I would have. I didn't want to put it down. That's that's the sign of a good book to me. The only reason that I couldn't read this in one day is because I was looking down in a van and getting travel sickness. If I didn't have that, I would have read this, like, in one sitting. Genuinely, that is how readable this book is. I think in the end it took me like three or four days because I was on tour and I was travelling and Luke was with me and then I had to perform and stuff like that, but honestly, once you get this, you won't want to stop reading. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with this book, and I think this is the point where it really hits home that this is a fantastic book. Carrie's a Gryffindor and I'm a Slytherin, and we do handle things very differently. I'm a lot more sort of harsh, I guess. I'm very to the point. Um, I'm, a lot more, I'm a lot more confrontational than Carrie is. Carrie will sort of go out of her way and be kind to strangers and be just try and cheer the world up a little bit, whereas I'm a lot more sort of reserved and I look after my tiny little bubble around me. Right? Um, I'm not I'm not evil. I might be evil. I don't know. You tell me. But there are things in here that Carrie's written that I have learned from. And I'm stubborn as hell. There's a section in here that I want to talk about, but I really don't think I can. But basically, since reading it, I have become a lot more understanding and a lot less sarcastic with the people around me. Um, and I think it's really helped improve my relationships with people. I also think that since reading this, I have learned to sort of try and see things from other people's perspectives. Like, when you're instantly mad at someone and you're just like, Oh, why would you have to do that? You're so horrible. Ugh, in your brain. Like, instead of immediately jumping to that, I'm sort of learning to think, Well, why did they do that? Try and imagine it from their point of view. Take a step back and then think, Was it really worth getting mad over? And I have learnt that from reading Carrie's book. And if I can learn something, as a Slytherin, that to me is just incredible writing. Because it's taught me stuff. It's taught me how to, to be better with people. If you can get that from a book, that's a damn good book. So Carrie, this book is fantastic and you should be so, so, so proud of it. Now I believe this book is going to be £12.99 when it hits stores. It's going to be the best £12.99 you spent this year. I genuinely believe that. Unless you can get like hard drugs for twelve ninety nine, but then you've probably got issues that you need to to deal with separately from buying books. That was supposed to be a joke, and now I fear that I've just advocated drug use. Um, don't do that. All I know now, it's better than crack. Don't put that on the back of the jacket, Carrie. Ask for it for your birthday. Ask for it for Christmas, or just save up your money and genuinely get this. And like I said, Carrie's my friend. But if this was rubbish, I wouldn't recommend it to you. I don't lie. And I'm recommending this to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I've been away for so long. I've been doing tour and then tidying this place up and looking for somewhere to move. I don't think I will move now. I don't know. It's all a bit of a mess. But thank you so much. If you liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon. Not very soon, because I, c I can't promise anything because I'm rubbish. But soon, okay? Cool. Bye.